at all. Uh, we had to spend a couple of days chasing those back down and, and getting them removed from copy. So in, in future, I think the best thing is just give me a call um, if you see quotes coming out from Italy and I can, I can verify them. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, Carve, please. Antonio, um, first of all, what kind of game do you think it will be against Burnley on Sunday? And how much do you know about them? For, for, for sure, it will be a, a really tough game because uh, I, I read, I read uh, with the great attention the stats and uh, Burnley um, I took 28 points at home and only one point away. It means that uh, uh, they have uh, 29 points and 28 uh, only at home. They won uh, uh, the last five games. Uh, they score a lot of uh, at the end of the the ga uh, of the um, the game. We must pay great attention because the stats uh, show that uh, Barley is a, a really strong team at home. Is uh, is third in the table for the for for the game that uh, uh, we played at home. And uh, the first is uh, Chelsea with the 33 points. The second is Tottenham, 32, and Barney is third in, in third position in the table. We must pay great attention, and uh, they are in good form. Uh, for sure, they want to, to beat us because uh, we are on top of the table. And this type of game, uh, yeah, uh, we must pay great attention, but we are preparing very well this game, and my players uh, know really well really well the, uh, the game that uh, we have to face. Do you know a lot about their players? Do you know about people, for instance, like Joey Barton? Joey hey. Barton? <coughs> yeah, the Burnley player. I think we'd, yeah. <laughs> we've already played them. Um, yeah. Are you familiar with Burnley players, with any Burnley players in particular? Ah, if I know, yeah. if I know, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> this is the, the, the second time that uh, we, um, uh, we, we play, yes, but I, I think I think that uh, 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 Gray, Gray is a, is a really good player, very clever, and uh, is always staying in the right position um, when they win uh, the ball, the second ball, stay always uh, in the right position to attack the space behind the, the defensive line, and we must pay great attention, yeah. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a, a really a really good team, and uh, they fight a lot. Uh, they play uh, a lot this uh, this long ball. They play in the second ball. Uh, they put a lot of pressure when uh, when we have the ball. But it's important to to know the the strength and the weakness of the the team that uh, you go to to face. And I think that we are studying very well, Barley. Um, we are preparing very well this this game. For sure, it will be a, a really tough game, and for us, uh, it's very important because when you arrive after two games against Liverpool and Arsenal, and uh, yeah, it's important to give continuity and uh, to try to to win uh, this uh, this game. But uh, it won't be easy, for sure. I know this. Uh, and by the time you play on Sunday, uh, if Spurs uh, win tomorrow, the gap will be six points. Do you think that that proves that the title race could be closer than people think? Yeah, but I think that uh, um, until the end of the season, uh, you have to leave this, uh, this type of pressure. And above all, if uh, uh, we play before or uh, the other team play before uh, of, uh, of us, but the pressure is always the same because uh, if the opponent win the game and uh, reduce the gap, if uh, the opponent uh, don't don't win the game, you have the possibility to uh, to take more points. But uh, I think we have the, the right experience to leave this uh, situation. Uh, but it's important to, to think uh, uh, 
in ourselves. It's very, very important. Uh, for us, it's important our game against Barley because now we are on top of the table and uh, we can count uh, o only in, uh, in our game. Then, uh, if uh, arrive a good news uh, uh, of the other team, and uh, yeah, uh, uh, we'll be happy. But we, we must count uh, uh, on ourselves. Uh, how many teams do you think can win the title realistically? Do you still think teams like Liverpool, Arsenal, yeah. Manchester United? But uh, honestly, honestly, uh, I think that uh, there are six six teams very strong. Um, I can, can fight to, to win the title and uh, also Manchester United, yeah, because Manchester United uh, uh, has a great squad and uh, I hired uh, a lot of players that they trust in the title, but uh, for sure, and uh, uh, this is the truth and we must know this, because if, if we think that uh, uh, um, we have uh, nine points and uh, we are very, uh, very close to win the title. It's a great mistake. It's a great mistake. There are 14 games to play. Uh, there are, uh, I repeat, uh, uh, five teams and uh, with Chelsea, six uh, teams that can fight until the end to, to win the title. It's important now, I repeat, to um, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't do great mistake in this uh, in this race and on sunday you'll be coming up against the Eng english manager uh, sean dyche yeah there are no english managers in the top half of the premier league and i think he is the highest in the premier league in 12th place are you, are you surprised that there aren't more english managers in the premier league <laughs> no i i think i think uh, uh, uh or I think that in this league uh, there are seven seven managers, seven English manager. Four? Yeah, seven Brit I think British or in British. Yeah. Okay, in British, yes. But uh, I, I have I have great respect for uh, for every manager and uh, uh, I hope all if uh, uh, the manager are English because uh, we stay uh, in England. And I have a great respect for uh, uh, for the people, for the uh, English people. And uh, I think that uh, also an English manager can can become a, a manager of a great team. Why not? Why not? If you show that you deserve this, uh, why not? And I think uh, the Barnes uh, manager is a, a really good coach and is doing very well. Um, and I have great respect for uh, for uh, for him and for uh, for his team. You, you were back at uh, Juventus on uh, Monday night, I think it was. Um, what was it like to be back there to watch them play Inter? Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, was it business or no, no, only no, only. Uh, only, only, only fun, only fun. Yes, because uh, a bit of relax after uh, <laughs> after a week very intensive uh, before in the in the FA Cup and then Liverpool and then Arsenal. Yeah, to to watch a game uh, in a totally uh, relax uh, <laughs> is uh, was was very good for me. And uh, then uh, to to come back in uh, <coughs> uh, in the stadium that uh, I know I know very well and uh, yeah. It was very good, mm, one hour and a half uh, to complete relax. Uh, yeah, and uh, it was a good experience. Yeah. <coughs> Martin. Yeah. Antonio, on that uh, theme of uh, having some time off, you gave the players some time off as well. And I think Courtois went to America. Um, what was your thinking giving them the break? when you are a man who focuses on every day. And now, how have they been? Have they come back refreshed, ready for this game on Sunday? Mm. Yeah, after, after the game against Arsenal, I, uh, I wanted to give uh, them one day off more because I, I, I thought that they deserved this because uh, uh, we had an intensive week 
with the three games in uh, in seven days and uh, yeah I think uh, it's important uh, um, there are different moments there are the moments that uh, you you must work you uh, you must work very hard and uh, uh, I think in this uh, in this season uh, uh, you had me a lot of time. Uh, we have to work very hard. Uh, we are working very hard. But sometimes there is a, a moment that uh, it's important also to to have uh, one day off, two days off, or three days off uh, for relax for you, for your ma for uh, your family. Um, yeah, to come back uh, uh, fresher and to restart uh, to work very hard because then. Uh, we start to work very hard and we know that our result depend only uh, through our uh, our work uh, but um, yeah it's good it's good uh, if uh, the players uh, want to go and uh, to have a relax uh, in different counties the most important things for me when they come back to come back in the right way with the right attitude with the right behaviors this is the most important thing and they have come back yeah yeah, 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 Liam. Yeah. Antonio, since September, the only teams that you've failed to beat in the Premier League have been Tottenham and Liverpool. Um, what has made this team so good at beating teams outside the top six? Uh, out of these uh, six, uh, six teams? <coughs> Yeah, an another, 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 uh, another team uh, very strong for me. I, I just mean, what, what's made it so? Why, why is your team so good at beating the teams outside? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I yeah, understand this. Yeah. Um, I think uh, to uh, yeah to beat Everton was very good because Everton is uh, another team uh, really strong and uh, now is not in top six but uh, <laughs> the gap is, uh, uh, um, is tight and as, uh, they are very close and Everton uh, I think uh, it was very good to, to beat them uh, an another uh, another tough uh, tough game against the West Brom uh, yeah but <laughs> honestly in England, uh, if you ask me before the game, uh, uh, you are calm. Uh, for for you, this is an easy game. My reply is always the same. And uh, uh, there, there aren't easy game in uh, in England, and we have a, a lot of example uh, of a, a team that now they are in bottom in in the table. They are in bottom, and uh, they won, they drew, and. Uh, for this reason, it's important to have always a great concentration, a great focus, and uh, to be uh, ready to fight, to fight and uh, to try to, to win. If you want to try to win the title eh, at, at the end, then uh, if your ambition is to stay in the top four or in top six, uh, you can have uh, high and low, no? If you want to win, uh, you must uh, have uh, always the, the same the same concentration, good concentration, good focus, uh, and uh, you must know that uh, in every game you can lose points. Simon? Antonio, you, you substituted Eden Hazard for the last three or four games. Is that because he is so important to you that you want to protect him uh, from burnout or injury? I think I think that uh, when uh, uh, when I make uh, a substitution, uh, uh, there is always a reason. And uh, yeah, in the, in the last game, in the last game, for sure, I I wanted to give him uh, uh, a great uh, applause of the uh, of our fans because I think he deserved this. Uh, for for the game that he played, not only with the ball, but able able ball without the ball. Yeah, sometimes uh, I I try to preserve uh, uh, um, some players. Yeah, uh, 
Sometimes uh, there is a, a, a technical choice. Yeah. If, um, if Paul Pogba cost £89 million, pounds, how much is Eden Hazard worth to you? Mm. I'm not very good uh, <laughs> to <laughs> uh, to put a price uh, in 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 the player. Yes, and uh, I think uh, is he priceless to Chelsea? Uh, I, I think I think Eden uh, for sure is uh, is a great player. He's a top player and uh, he's uh, in a level uh, very high. But um, I, I don't see I don't see the problem because uh, we don't want to sell him. <laughs> he he hasn't uh, a price now. Okay. Yep. Antonio, uh, everybody fit for this game? David Luiz fully fit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's available. Yeah, David. Uh, his fit is good, but. Uh, for sure, uh, is uh, is playing with uh, uh, with this, this little pain in his knee, but uh, he's a warrior. He's a warrior, and uh, I think he's uh, he's playing uh, very well. And I'm pleased for uh, for him. But I hope to continue this way. But for sure, uh, he's showing me great. Uh, Great attitude, uh, uh, great will uh, to continue to to fight, uh, despite sometimes uh, he has a bit of uh, of pain. Do you expect a very different Burnley side to the one that you were able to see off at Stamford Bridge because of their home record? Do you think they'll play a very different style against Chelsea at home? Uh, yeah, but, but I, I think I think the style is uh, is always the same. Maybe maybe change. Uh, uh, Something changed because uh, if in, uh, in if you have uh, twenty eight points, uh, you take uh, a twenty eight points at home and only one at away, it means that something of difference there is in the team when play at home and when play at away. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have to play <laughs> uh, away, and for this reason, we, we must pay great attention. We must pay great attention because uh, uh, it's a, a, unusual uh, to have Barley in third position in the table uh, in the game uh, played uh, at home. It's a, a fantastic achievement for <laughs> for them. For this reason, uh, we must pay great attention, and uh, I won. My my players and uh, we are preparing very well this uh, this game because uh, if uh, you don't face uh, this uh, this game in the right way anything can happen. And this of course that Frank Lampard has returned to do his coaching badges with the club and also could be used as an ambassador for. Is it important to have players like him with such great history with the club around to help stay some of the younger players? Uh, yeah, for sure, uh, uh, Frank Lampard uh, is a legend for this club, uh, and uh, yeah. Now uh, I think he's uh, he's starting uh, a new career, a new career, but now is the time to to take the best decision for you, and it's not easy because I passed this uh, this moment, and it is not easy when you finish your career to. To understand uh, which is the right way uh, to follow, but uh, I think that uh, uh, Frank uh, can work in the football and uh, can work uh, in uh, uh, as a coach. Uh, uh, yeah, he, he can do. He can do very well. Matt, to finish it off. <coughs> Does this run of fixtures present a, a, a possibility for Sesca Rigas and William and those sorts of players that have done very well off the bench to, to start and to press a claim to break into your first team? Uh, uh, yeah, for sure, for sure there, uh, there is uh, this possibility because uh, we are talking uh, about uh, two great players 
and uh, above all we are talking uh, about two great players in a good form honestly and uh, to have uh, uh, in this moment uh, Sesk and uh, and uh, William uh, on the bench or the pitch <coughs> or in the pitch is very important uh, now I think that also Pedro is uh, is playing uh, uh, very well. Is uh, in a great form. Uh, Sesk when uh, when he plays, uh, he is playing very well, very well. And also when uh, I call him to come to come on in uh, on the pitch. Uh, yeah, could be, could be. I I have uh, uh, different solutions, different solutions uh, for for sure. But for me, the most important is that uh, uh, I can count about uh, a squad, and uh, every single player uh, is in a good form, and uh, this is very important to have a good form and above all a good attitude, a good behaviors. To be involved uh, totally in the in the in the team. Uh, if uh, you start in the uh, uh, you start uh, in the eleven, or, or if you uh, go on the bench and then you uh, you play.